three episodes left guys until season three things are getting more hyped than ever what's happening garfield versus elsa my beautiful girl got her face dragged on the wall but i think her super fast regeneration made herself just all clean so that's pretty good Mady has a hippo that's fighting against frederica Subaru thought that he was being him by saying i am not him and then biku immediately kicked him out but if if she gave him like 10 more seconds to talk right he's basically gonna say listen i'm not him nor does that person needs to exist you need to come up with your own answer we can basically defy destiny whatever you believe in the book and define our own fate but biku just fucking kicked us out so we're gonna have to do a round two on that anything else going on no i'm pretty sure that's pretty much it and there was the whole amelia stuff i think that the Amelia stuff. Yeah, the unknown present was kind of cruel because that's like the wholesome present that could have happened if Pandora wasn't there. But still, it's nice to see Juice and, you know, Orchina. And it's like a semblance of family that we never had. But beyond that, after she cleared it, right? The people of the Arlan village and the anti liberation forces of the demi humans, right? Everybody are becoming believers. They're so close to saying EMT chanting emt like a fucking religious cult man the rise of amelia is happening and it's actually getting so hype let's begin today's reaction no she can heal it back Look at that. Because, like, okay, after the cut condom stuff, I'm starting to really believe that she is a fucking vampire, bro. She has to be. There's no way she's a fucking archbishop. There's no way this is an authority. She is some kind of super vampire with super regen powers. That has to be. There's nothing else. Because, like, dude, she's got the pale skin, the whole dark, you know, aesthetic. Maybe even bit her neck right in the break time. It's gotta be. Oh. It's also kind of like revenge. Because how many times has she fucking fucked with our eyeballs? Remember the times that she just pokes out Subaru? <laughs> she takes no damage. <laughs> My wounds heal instantly. Busted. But if Garfield can do this and Reinhardt can't. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to be running with this to piss off the power scalers. Garfield is better than Reinhardt confirmed. Kill the unkillable. There's a lot of people here. Boss man got a plan. Wow. The respect he has for boss man. Look at that. He completely trusts Subaru. He's just gonna laugh as he sends him all flying. True. <laughs> he will. He'll figure out a way, right? In his own way. It's just. <laughs> you got no clue, man. My boss man is so cool. We're cooked! We're cooked! <laughs> Guilty low. He is. Aww. Oh, that was kind of cute. That super, you know, Petra in this like peril thought about Subaru first, and then he doesn't even answer. This looks like Rem, ghosted. Modern world, what are we gonna do? We don't have the meat here anymore. We can't just fucking use our forbidden technique, Nokia flip phone, fucking flashlight. What, what do we have? What's he thinking? He just bullfighting? We just doing a fucking matador, bro? Okay. <laughs> Dust explosion. Okay, we, well, there's candles in the ground. I mean, 
apparently like this last chapter is called like something about like the, the last day of the Roswell Manor or something. Implying like this mansion is going to get busted after this shit. We're going to be fucking homeless, man. Yeah. What did you think was going to happen? That it would blow up? Dust explosion. Taste the very spirit of science. I have candles in the ground. And I'm going to throw dust at you. Is this gunpowder? Is this supposed to be gunpowder? Yeah. Huh. Guilty Lil is like, what the fuck are you doing? I, I have no clue. I, I have no clue. Yo, we were just talking about Spike's family today, weren't we? Spike's family episode one. There was a flower fucking dust explosion scene, right? No, for sure there was. That's what he was trying to do here, but it didn't really work that way. Oil. <laughs> oh, those oil that he bought out of season. Okay, now we just light it on fire. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Modern science, baby. Oto and Petra has taken down the strongest tier of witch fiends right below the three great witch fiends, right? Like, Guilty Low is like up there. Fucking light that shit on fire. Spocha? Guilty Low taken care of. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Oh shit, this entire building though. <laughs> oh no. Biko, you need to run with us. Biko, the whole fucking mansion's on fire. What are we gonna do? Dude, we're gonna be homeless. Like, like straight up. The Amelia camp are gonna be homeless. Priscilla's gonna fucking drive by in season three and just laugh at us. Like, <laughs> you fucking broke asses, halfway. You don't even have a mansion anymore. Where are we gonna stay? We should just fucking stay at the sanctuary. At least the people like at our like people have like a place to stay at Arlon Village, right? Like, we, where the fuck are we gonna go? Russell's probably gonna fucking fire Petra and Federica too. They ain't gonna have no jobs. What are we gonna do after this? <laughs> Take Rem in Roswell's office. <laughs> yes, sir. That's right, we gotta get Biko. <laughs> There's another lolly that might be a bit more important than you, Petra. That's right. You got out lollied. She is. Don't say that. What if that actually happens? What if this is a flag? Oto's oil killed us. <laughs> Alright. Amelia, third trial. The disaster that's yet to come, bro. Are we gonna see it? <sighs> the, the, the future is nothing exists. That's the disaster. The bad people won. The world, as we know, has ceased to exist. All right, that's the end of ReZero, guys. Oh? Stars? Interesting. But this is the actual future? Everything is dark and on, on fire. It's like the exact opposite, right? It's always, I love you, I love you. But now it's, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> Who's she talking to? Maybe she's talking to Subaru here. I don't know. I'm gonna assume that this is Amelia. She's all bloodied up, right? There's nothing we really see other than that. Just buildings crumbling, everything's on fire. Shit's gone down. I got no clue. And the, and the, and the discussion is just probably pointed towards Subaru. I don't know. <laughs> It, it could be one future. Of many futures? What is this shit? These like four sided sparkle things. It's as if we're just like in space and these like twinkle stars are passing through us to let us know what's going on. 
constellations are important in, you know, ReZero, right? I got no clue. Hero. That's what Puck said to Reinhardt. That's the exact line. A hero is all you can be back in season one. You cannot even wield a... And that was Reinhardt there before. So that same conversation is happening with Super Reinhardt instead of Puck and Reinhardt. You cannot even wield a sword without a thief? This is Super Reinhardt. You, I know you and Emilia Nes. This is Petra? Who are these voices? Emilia Nessa. Petra? My precious granddaughter has grown into such a fine young lady now. Where have I heard these lines? The Reinhardt Super is very familiar. The Thor thing? Is that, is that an angry Wilhelm? I don't know. My precious granddaughter has grown into such a fine young lady. Which one was that? Could this be Ramchi to fell? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Oto, Oto, if that's the case, I should have just been wrapped up in that cave and left for dead. Oh, what's going on, my bro? Oto, everyone is like regretting it. It's such a bad future. Oto didn't even want to be saved if, if it meant that the future that's happening right now is going to be the future. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't kill you. <laughs> Krush, Krush, under no circumstances shall I be killed by something as nonsensical as a curse. Krush is gonna die from some sort of curse. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not. I mean, Krush is. She's already fucking cooked without an arm and fucking memories playing, but okay, there's a curse for Krush. Echidna. <laughs> there you see it. I don't Echidna is winning in the future. Okay, okay, okay. Ram. Ram, to think someone I wanted to kill so badly turned out to be a kind person. Who's that person you want to kill? Right in the future? From the beginning? Who did Ram also want to kill? Kind person? What? Yeah, that sounds more like Priscilla. Yeah. That's not a kid, it's Priscilla. Priscilla wins in this future, it seems like. Ram. Reinhardt, if I bend my knee and lose my sword, what is left for me? What the hell? <laughs> What's so hard about saying I don't want to be alone? Uh, all these lines... Is that Julius? It's so fucking hard. It, it, there's so many, basically, it, all these lines are just people just full of despair. Everyone is regretting what's going on, right? Julius has no fucking. If I bend my knee and lose my soul, what is left for me? The spirit? Ram says, to think someone I wanted to kill so badly turned out to be a kind person. I have no idea who you're even referring to. Kararagi <laughs> Anastasia. Garfield? Subaru is like super evil in this future. It's a bad route. Bad if route. Something. Terrible happened. <laughs> it's looking like Garfield's fucking after his ass. <laughs> Roswell. <laughs> that I have not walked alone all this time. That is. Is this Roswell confirming that Natsuki Subaru, basically, this is a future where Natsuki Subaru has walked into the depth of hell with Roswell together? Is that it? <laughs> I suppose we must shed every last drop of blood in our bodies to a toe. What is that? <laughs> Emilia, magic dragons, whatever stands in my way, I'll destroy it. All right, Emilia, the dragon slayer, prophecy. I see it. Emilia, magic dragons, whatever stands in my way, I'll destroy. That's Emilia talking, right? <laughs> Why won't the soul take hold? Is that Biko's voice? <laughs> I can't really tell. Why won't the soul take hold? This is so fucking... Is it felt? Is it Petra? I don't know. Is that felt? Is this not a million magic dragons? Whatever stands in my... I'll destroy it. Yeah, felt into Felix. Fuck, what a frustrating bunch of fucking frames. Just a bunch of out of context, just the spare lines from a bunch of fucking voices overlap with each other. I don't even know who the fuck is talking, but felt the Dragon Slayer? I don't know. Everything's just looking bad. Terrible future. 
Things are just really bad. Subaru seems to be the cause of it. Rem. Why would Rem tell us that right now with Subaru? No, they're gonna go away. They're gonna leave with you behind. Windows XP, Echidna. All right, hey, Echidna time. And all the psychological despair is just gone, right? Because in this realm, it's just like, you're just super chill. That's what happened with Subaru too. Echidna? Now, where's she at? She doesn't even show up. At least she laid out the crackers. Mm -hmm. Minerva is Amelia's mom theory. Let's where, let's see where this goes, right? Like what how what could possibly happen here? Because like, like motherfuckers said some there's some shit with Minerva and mom. Like this is it now. What is happening here? Mm. Deliberately making Amelia not turn around is definitely something that I could do mental gymnastics to argue, well, if she turned around, maybe she'd recognize her true mother's face or something. Yeah, I'd be down with that. <laughs> She's salty. She didn't even show up. <laughs> She's so fucking salty. She didn't show up, bro. At least she laid out the snacks. Those tears, man. Is she just truly just salty that, like, whatever she wanted for her tomb of wisdom didn't happen? No, these are not the... It's just, I see sorrow, I see regret, I see pain. It's, it's beyond just regular hate. But I feel like, again, this is something that we can't possibly know at this moment. It has to do with Amelia, though, right? And the things that she hates. Echidna hates Satala and Amelia. Is it said that Echidna also hates Amelia's mom? It didn't look like shit. It was just a bunch of schizo lines. One of the futures. Possible one. <laughs> Did Echidna intently choose the worst possible future just to fuck with her? Maybe, right? There's a lot of different variations we could do, right? She's like, all right, which if route is like the fucking worst one to traumatize Amelia? <laughs> She's a bigger girl. You can change it. Other futures are too. But I got Subaru now. I got the people of Arlan Village. I got friends. Now, this is not an evidence that Minerva is Amelia's mom, but one could assume that she's speaking in third person right now. And but they won't leave me alone. You're pretty strong. Is does Minerva sees herself as weak? I haven't seen enough. I don't know much about her to see like if that's true or not. But let's keep that in mind. <laughs> what if she is the mom? Yeah, I know her well. I can't tell you more. Again, like why won't you let me look at your face? Because if I did. Maybe some subconscious fucking memory that's been locked away just fucking, oh, Kasama or something, right? It, it could, I could believe. <laughs> Assuming that Minerva is actually Amelia's mom, imagine how she feels here about that. Ooh. <laughs> My real mom's mother fortuna. Her evil plots do good things sometimes. And her, I don't think, is obviously fortuna. Could it be a kid now or Pandora? I'm not sure. Yeah. Why would she be crying, huh? I don't cry. I don't have the right to cry. Is she always in tears, though, when she's fucking angry and trying to heal Subaru? But, like, more evidence. More evidence that Minerva could be mom, right? So what do we have? We have the fact that she won't let her see due to maybe recognition. Other thing is, huh. And then she mentions the mother about how I'm the mother isn't strong, but Amelia is. And then a third part is shaken up after Amelia says Mother Fortune is my real mom. And... 
this Minerva, maybe she's referring to a kingdom, maybe she's referring to, you know, Pandora in terms of the evil plot, but this further kind of suggests that, like, she's getting all emotional, shaken up, because, like, damn, at the end of the day, Amelia did have something, like, a mother figure to, you know, rely on. <laughs> Can't look? Just look at my titties instead? Like, why? Like, like, just like, think about this. Why would you ever show this much affection to a quote-unquote random person that you have no association with? It's looking really like that Minerva cares about Amelia, but why? You know, the mother theory is becoming more and more convincing with each action. You're a bad girl. It sounds like something a mom would say to a daughter. <laughs> that was the fucking seal. The fuck? It's the final butterfly thing. And there was another line also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? Something didn't Fortuna say like your mother would be mad, right? Yeah, yeah there, there was that one line. And uh, that line obviously refer if it refers to Minerva, and Minerva is a witch of wrath, right? So it's, it's like another little thing that could suggest that maybe she really is a mom. Um, since the mom is supposed to be a quote unquote human, right? We can't really see any traits like Amelia's you know, silver hair, eyes, pointy ears. These are all most likely from uh, Fortuna's brother, but Fortuna's side has the mean eyes. Amelia doesn't have mean eyes, right? Therefore, I think the eye shape is from Minerva. I think that this does match up. I'm not crazy, right? Amelia said last episode, I don't really look like Fortuna when she looked at the reflection in the water, the mean eyes. You know, Minerva has the good eyes. And then the last piece of the timeline shit that is fucking with this theory is the fact that Minerva is a being that existed pre-calamity 400 years ago Amelia we know was quote unquote like cause here's here's what we're given so far that like we're supposed to just believe that she was just born and she's just chilling until like she's like seven Pandora happens frozen 100 years pass by unfrozen and now we're here one could believe are you ready for this this bitch was frozen 400 years ago Yep. <laughs> yep, she got frozen twice. Ain't nobody would ever, nobody would ever think about this bitch being frozen twice, bro. But like, it's a stupid thing to say, for sure. But it does answer this, right? It's, it's definitely not <laughs> a strong theory. But logically, it does make sense that Amelia existed 400 fucking years ago. <laughs> Minerva froze this bitch and then sent it off somehow to, you know, Fortuna and shit? I don't know. It's me, man. I'm just trying to do mental gymnastics to make timelines make sense, man. I don't know. Like the eye shapes again. The eye shapes. She got the eye shape from her mom. The hair, the pupil, the pointy ears. That's all. Fortuna's brother, dad. And I think that Fortuna's brother could have definitely been that old. Elves are known to live for a long, long time, right? So I like this theory and I want to stick to it. And let's just try to poke holes at this theory to see if there's any plot holes. But so far, maybe grandmother? Maybe. I, I'd be down with the grandmother thing too, maybe. But um, I, I think that Minerva is definitely associated with the family somehow. How does Satala come to play? Now, the twin sister theory kind of makes more sense. The twin, ugh, I don't know. Like, like the twin sister Satala and Amelia theory didn't make sense due to the timeline issues. But now that we're doing, you know, mental gymnastics like this. I don't know, man. Oh. 
Yeah, what would a kid that say? No, Amelia's not allowed. Banned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm convinced. I, I, I am, I'm convinced. Minerva being Amelia's mom. It's, it's, it's definitely not the, it's, it's not a weak theory though, right? There's, there's, it's not like, <laughs> listen, I'm not looking at live Bicentos' teeth and saying, oh, Demi-human, oh, 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 Theresa von Austria took back shots from a beast human and now the descendant is like, now I'm, I'm memeing there, right? Right? Like, come on. Like, like, that's a weak theory. We're just having fun. This is a bit different. There's a lot of different evidences. There's a lot of dialogue passages and body language as well. Like, Minerva was pretty fond of Satla too, from what I remember back at the witch party. And what was association of Minerva and Echidna? Right? What was, what was the association? Does Echidna hate Minerva? I don't know how that shit, I'd have to go back, but let's, and let's keep that in mind. And let's think about the seal as well, right? Somehow, like the craziest logical jump is that the seal is somehow like the burial site for Minerva. I don't know how that would work, but assuming that Amelia's mom is Minerva, I don't know. I think a really funny theory with the seal is that it's a seal to the seal of where Satila resides, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh. But is there any wrath characteristics in Amelia? That doesn't matter. Just because she's the Witch of Wrath doesn't mean that she needs to be Wrath Incarnate. You've seen Better the Goose. You've seen how he's so diligent, right? Plus, that's what happens when you have the Witch Factor. That shit isn't passed down as a personality trait to your descendants. Congratulations, you passed. And this is the... World Tree? <laughs> what is this shit? Bear... Echidna! Akinda's a corpse. Ah, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> You'll fucking emote on her dead body right now. Fucking teabagger or something. Don't let Roswell find this room, bro. You don't want to know what Roswell's gonna do if she found this room. Yeah, it's her. Does it not look like her, bro? Can you not see her face? Yeah. Yeah, I have no clue either. Just a bunch of random fucking hieroglyphic. Oh, I see a butterfly, though. I see a butterfly structure right in the middle here. There's always an association with butterflies and echidna. Break the barrier. That's so cute. But here's the interesting thing. Why did Echidna do so much to create this sanctuary, this barrier, only to have the person who can clear it to destroy said barrier? What is the point of even having such a system set up? Was it all for Amelia to overcome her past? I don't... Why? Right? Why would this exist? Why would Echidna want the barrier to be destroyed if someone is worthy enough to because the book told her to because the tomb of wisdom said so and she's just following it butterfly what you gonna do with that corpse <laughs> i take a fucking magic marker no a non-erasable permanent mark and I draw a fucking... I draw a mustache and echidna. I just draw like shit on her face. <laughs> Roswell did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the snow is here. The bunnies are coming. Oh, we're cooked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where did they come from? How are you always keeping these blades? Where? How could you have possibly kept those blades in your thin fucking voluptuous body? How? How? She just pulls it out of her fucking ass, bro. Okay, sure. No, you're underestimating him. 
Pippo? Frederica won? Maybe so cute. For you, big little bro. Family. <laughs> How does Melee's power work, bro? Come on. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Hippo. Clap, clap. Alright. The bats? Oh, shit. Damn, it's looking pretty bad here, bro. Holy shit. Like, this is all under Melee's control. Like, Melee is such an important character due to this controlling of Witch Fiends. Like, Dude, we need to kidnap her. We need to take her alive and just like use her powers. I'm sorry. We cannot kill this lolly. She is way too valuable. <laughs> is this the same swordsman that Garfield, remember, cut content. Garfield literally read a book about like the first sword saint and learned their martial arts and trained himself. And that's why he's so strong. That's like actual fucking lore. First sword saint cut content? Does he even know that like this is the guy that he's referring to right now? Master swordsman Reed, huh? Reed, the first sword saint. I'm gonna assume that he, he is the hero along with the sage, which probably is Flugel and the dragon, which is now Volcanica, right? Those three are the ones that created the seal for Satala. <laughs> oh, Elsa actually caught her! I thought the Witch Fiends would do that. I thought it would be funny if Mayday just fucking dropped on the ground there. <laughs> he heals. That's why he can, like, there was that one episode where he just, like, literally touched the ground and, like, without any incantation, he was like, whoop, right? And he created some kind of, like, mud, like, shield. So, like, he's, he's OP. Like, what did he do exactly there? He just kicked the ground? Yeah. So, like, earth magic, the, the divine protection of earth spirits, it's just, like, omnipotent earth magic. Everything is within his ring. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, Garfield, transform! Henshin! That's so much titty. <laughs> is that filler animation or is that building up the suspense? <laughs> oh, the build up! That's some gear three shit, bro. Okay. <laughs> How is she gonna look at this one? Okay, okay. I know she regens, but like a chunk of your head is gone. You, like like quarter of your brain is fucking gone. How do you come back from this shit, bro? This is some gear three fucking parcel transformation. Oh. <laughs> He, he jumped up and he started twisting his neck. He's like an upside down corkscrew driver. Eighth grader, 14 years old. 14 years old. I mean, listen, the, the, the book literally said, right? The source material said this, this dude literally trained himself under like the book of like the master swordsman, like a fucking sword saint. So like, yeah, he, he, dude, season three, he's going to be crazy. Season three, him on the battlefield. I'm not sure if Wilhelm is going to be by our side, but like, damn, I am so glad that he's in our team. <laughs> Hippo's done. <laughs> Rock piggy gone. <laughs> slave driver, <laughs> slave driver, you are. <laughs> it's just baby. It's just basically just like a fucking. 
slave owner. I mean, all the witch fiends, I guess they pretty much are slaves and telling Elsa too. Basically, Elsa, like, I'm not a witch fiend, bro, but I'll fuck, I'll move for you, I guess. Ultra regeneration. Ah, shit. Yeah, I guess he is like... He, he did come into this nerf. Like, all the damage that he took, right? All the exhaustions he had, the fatigue on the episode where we had Invisible Providence. It's still there, right? I think that he's, like, also, like, healing all the times with his foot on the ground, right? Due to the divine uh, blessing of the fucking Earth Spirit. But Elsa just hacks. This vampire bitch, he just, he just regions all the time. Just, like, half the head gone in his back. <laughs> Does it ever stop? There must be a threshold. How can you just infinitely fucking just heal? There, there has to be something that we can do about this. But she did tank Reinhardt's head, so like... Also just built different. <laughs> True. True, brother. If, if, he's not wrong. There, there has to be some sort of threshold, right? Just, just keep killing her. Yeah. Just keep killing her until she dies. People are killed when they died. People die when they are killed. Yes, you're right. Vampire. Oh, more lore. One of the witches is a vampire a long time ago. Pandora vampire? I don't know, but uh... That's interesting lore. The witch is dead. Okay, how did they die? What was the lore? I still want Garfield to bite Elsa's neck. Like, just for like a little bit of foreshadowing from break time we saw when Mady like warns Elsa. But there was a witch that was a vampire in the past. They're dead now, so I can't assume it's Pandora unless the book he read was misinforming. <laughs> The holy church place, northern continent, right? I think Elsa's gonna die now. Up until this point, I was kind of like... If you're gonna start doing a life story during like these final moments of a fight, like... That only means fucking one thing, man. That like, 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 this is like the biggest fucking death. Like, like, lady, why are you dropping your life story now? You're gonna lose for sure now. No. <laughs> Garfield does not care about this backstory. I'm kind of interested. What happened? Uh, you were stealing, then the owner captured her. What happened? <laughs> How old were you back then? Wait, 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 wait. You get his ass, Elsa. And that was her first experience of the Bowel Hunter. Ah, and then the fascination with the guts has happened with this. Look at the fire in her eyes, man. Crazy. That's so sad, man. She's a product of her environment. She wasn't born evil, right? She has shitty parents. She has left out to survive. And the one thing that gave her, like, this quote-unquote happiness, right? The warmth of the guts. <laughs> to forget, like, the metaphor could to forget the cult. Like, she could have been so different, but it's, at the end of the day, your spawn points, you know, it really determines how you're gonna shape up in life. <laughs> Garfield, bro, come on. She's literally giving you her last speech. It's her final moment. <laughs> you really just gonna say, lady, this is a fucking McDonald's, please. I don't, I don't care about your life story. Bro, just take the fucking fries and go. <laughs> yeah, this is the opposite of put the fries in the bag. The lady fucking shows about the drive through. So this is a Wendy's. But what are you what are you doing? Please, can you just get out of here? Go go away. Ram. I ain't gonna lie, Ram is a bit of a psycho bitch, but he only has one time for one psycho bitch. <laughs> By the way, that is like the second time they've done their fucking intros. 
<laughs> this time was a bit different, right? The last time they did their whole fucking title, right? The strongest shield of the sanctuary, Garfield Tinsel, Bowel Hunter, Elsa Granger. The final intro, man. This is feeling like this is the final bow. Here we go. <laughs> Did I just snap? <laughs> well, there goes our fucking shield for season three. I hope we're gonna get a new one. <laughs> Matey, ah, Elsa could have won. I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Elsa. Elsa, no, you need to fuck Matey. Fuck ignore. But she got a soft spot. She got a soft spot. They're sisters. <laughs> Frederica Clutch. There it is, there it is. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that's even more funny. That the forest shouting for Matey saying like, you know, you're gonna get your neck fucking bit. It happened because of Matey's opening. Damn. Why is this so sexual? Why are your legs moving around this scene? When this this fucking scene. We, what, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> so something about this is very erotic, right? I'm, I'm not crazy, right? Like I I I I'm not making this up. They're literally showing us the hands are literally just bound like that. Blood everywhere, literally biting into each other. Like holy shit. <laughs> The hippo? The hippo, bro? Yeah, the neck ain't healing. She's a fucking titan, man. Like, she's she's literally just like a Shingeki no Kyojin. Like, if you get... It's like any fatal hits to the neck, any injuries, you're cooked. What happened at the end? Why don't you move? Because she didn't want to move. What was it? it was, I, I, don't, I don't know. She's looking at Garfield. Is she in admiration of Garfield's, like, red? The bite marks? Oh, oh, oh more backstory. More backstory. When she stabbed that guy. She's reminded of it. No! What does it say? Love me down to my blood and guts. It's looking like, in the heat of the moment, Elsa found beauty in this, right? Like, Elsa found the beauty in this shit, and she's like, you know what? Maybe this is my time to go. I'm gonna guess that's it for Elsa. If that's it for Elsa, and if Elsa actually died, then Garfield is stronger than Reinhardt. Yep, 100% confirmed. Yep, 100% confirmed. I'm not exactly sure how, like, Garfield's neck was healed there, but, like, doesn't he have already regen powers, right? Like, doesn't he have, in, like, a contact with the ground, blessing of the fucking, like, earth spirit, like, heal him? So I think that's what's going on, but, like, he saw his neck, he's all bloody, she's touching her neck, so he's a red, reminded of her flashback past, and he's like, you know what? Maybe this ain't such a bad way to die or something. Just, that was my fucking peak fan service, bro. So her design was the fucking best thing about this show, man. Okay. Roswell, Roswell. Show me some actual fights, please. Then we should go there and destroy it. Ram never calls Puck Puck. Always great sailor, great, great spirit. Spell on Spell. Is this spell something new? Because, like, so far, he's been trying to isolate Amelia, make her dependent on Subaru, make the snow fucking rain and shit. But there was a spell that he placed on Leah to keep her depressed. 
彼は悲願のための最後の患者マナ娘を預けるに足るか試さ違う思い上がるなよ Which is this life? Well, that's interesting. That's, I, I, I don't know. There was something weird going on. It's looking like Puck's lack, his, his like AFK was a lot of it due to like Rosal's spell on Leah. I don't know. I never, I never knew that. He got his memories back? Hector? Whoa. What was that about? I was remembering a man who spoke a lot like you. I think that is Hector. Who else has that speech pattern unless it's a previous Roswell generation, right? Is it so I'd remembered that wound or perhaps a warning? What wound are we specifically talking about? This lore is fucking crazy. I, it must be Hector, but wounds? <laughs> 400 years of that past. <laughs> Rosalind could be the, the biggest super senior ever. Just forever hung up on the past glory, the glory days of 400 years ago. Just always remembering the good old times back. Call himself a phony though. Why? That was a very interesting line. Why would Betty be sad? Because Roswell is leaving behind Betty right now if he keeps doing this. Another instance of Betty being left out. Or is there something deeper than this? I don't know. That was very personal. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking cliche anime thing. I fucking love, dude. There's the high eye, which is like too too fast, and then Osoi is the too late version where you are the fast one. Oh my god, Ran got fucked up. Osoi, martial artist. <laughs> What is her wish? Yeah, who let this shit happen, bro? You fucking literally sat there. The witch cult is attacking, the book told, it, told you know, you, that's gonna happen. Bro literally had a launcher folded out. Just like sat there, got a fucking bag of popcorn, started to eat that shit. Oh shit, Ram and Ram, they're about to get attacked. Alright, I gotta go pick up my fucking tool that could kill the, you know, Volcanica. Oh, what is the soundtrack? But I'm different. I want your salvation, Roswell. Aww. Ram's heart. Her love for Roswell. I love you. I love Amelia, but I love Roswell. Is it happening? Oh shit! Is this an actual ship, bro? Because, like, he pretty much groomed her. He literally just made her in a situation where she was, like, she got her horn cut off. And then, and then he basically forced a contract down her throat. Because, like, you're going to die if you don't take this shit. Then ever since then, she just he's just been, like, grooming her and making sure that she's this capable tool that could take out the dragon. Because Tape has said that Ram is supposed to be just, like, super fucking strong character in prime form. But, like, the love is there. The love is there, it's peak Stockholm Syndrome, and, you know? I, I, I love you? I love a kid now, bro. Say, I love a kid now, bro. Do it, do it. I love a kid now, bro. Do it. It's your moment. If he says, I love a kid now here, the super wall, bro. Roswell Subaru just being so fucking similar. Do it, fucking do it. <laughs> Not now, Roswell. Stockholm Syndrome. Search it up. I've basically been groomed to basically love you now. Aww. Man, this is kind of like reminding me of the Subaru Amelia talk in the sanctuary but like it's reversed where ram is the one saying i love you and ross was like what do you do about me you can't fucking love me what do you, what do you mean you love me and ram was like i love you <laughs> mm. you gotta move forward man 
This is cute. I thought it'd be the old, you know, the, the mean looking uh, father cap, but we're still in cute mode. Got him. That is so crazy to me that he just kicks this shit. Like, Roswell may be the greatest magician in Lugunica, but like, he's got hands and he's got legs. Like, even like that little attack he did to Ram after saying Osoi, and like that episode where we penetrated Garfield and Ram, like, this dude, hand to hand combat is fucking crazy. <laughs> Ram behind. Yo, wait, wait, whoa, 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 what happened there? Horn? Can she have a temporary horn form? Because the horn is out, even though the horn is busted. But before, when she fought Garfield, I don't think the horn was active. Her demon mode was active, but it was like a temporary period. But I see a fucking horn. I see the horn. How? Donut. The book, the book, the book. The book? Wait, 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 wait. Did she do it? The book. Yo! The grimoire! There's only two fucking copies, and you know, the one Biko has is cooked. If you get rid of this, that's it. Burn it. Oh, that kiss scene. Oh. The thing he's been clinging on to 400 years, man. It's all gone, bro. <laughs> no, Ram. No, 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 no. No, Ram's a big girl. She can take it. Credits fucking rolling. And is this... Still Ram's voice actor? This is Ram's voice actor singing? This is fucking peak, man. God damn. Let the credits roll. What a fucking episode. Is there anything more after this? Another 29 minutes and 30 second fucking episode from Studio White Fox for ReZero, man. And that's it. That's it, bro. Pretty much everything that needs to be settled has been settled except Biko. Back at the mansion, Elsa has been subjugated. I don't know how this fucking madman Garfield did it. Bro literally ignored Elsa's like last like words, her backstory. Garfield's like, I don't give a shit woman here, fucking eat a hippo after they had like, <laughs> they just start to have some kinky fucking weird shit. They start like biting each other and their legs are like intertwined and moving and it's like, whoa, what the hell? And then he threw a hippo at her. And then Elsa kind of like has her closure. She's reminded of her like, how it all began and she's like you know what maybe this is the end and that's it and on the other and matey frederica took matey i think that there is potential for matey to be like con like joining our team like she is such an important character in, in terms of her power to control the witch fiends like it would be such a waste to just let her go like at the very least we need to fucking use her as a tool so matey has been captured elsa's pretty much gone ram versus roswell we got to actually see Roswell fight, which is amazing. Puck is definitely helping out. Ram is definitely just like popping off. And it, it felt like Ram's episode 18 of I Love You. At the end of the day, Ram needs to get rid of that grimoire, right? As long as Roswell keeps clinging on to these empty words, he can no longer move forward. He's stuck forever in this 400 years of convictions he had. But now we'll see. If feelings are truly able to change, as Roswell doesn't believe that shit, right? So like, we'll we'll see how he handles it. But like, Ram did get fucking blasted, and she went kind of flying, right? Like like I I I I I I I don't know what's gonna happen to Ram. It's kind of ambiguous. Her body is flowing. Her body is fucking flying in the top corner. But Ram's a big girl. She's a strong girl. I believe that Ram can tank this and. Roswell Ram, can there be a relationship here? I don't We'll have to really see exactly how this pans out with Roswell because he's still good. He's just fucking super angry. It's also kind of ironic. It's that it's his own flames, right? 
It's his own flames that was the downfall of the Grimoire, because that's your flames that fucking burnt it. And this part, right? This part here, the future was... What the fuck? I, I have no clue. Basically, it's just like a terrible if route. There's a lot of voices that just like super, super depressed and kind of blaming Subaru for everything, right? And some even lines that I heard Puck say to Reinhardt where Subaru said, "That's oh, you're just a hero, that's all you can be. And then the Minerva stuff, I am more convinced than ever that Minerva is Amelia's mom. And if that's possible, that means timeline-wise, Amelia definitely did exist pre-Calamity times and was frozen. Minerva froze Emilia. I don't know how the fuck that shit works, but she was somehow fucking put in this frozen-like state until fucking what we see in Trial 1, right? And and now we're supposed to assume, if we're going to go with the theory, that Emilia was not frozen once, but twice, and if not twice, then a, a similar mechanic of frozen to basically bypass that time gap. Also, Otto and Petra. Otto and Petra, they fucking arsoned the guilty low, so everything is looking good. The one last thing, one last thing, is Biko. If Biko can just chill the fuck out and take Subaru's hand, we can have a fucking good ending, and we go into Season 3, and that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.